What a beautiful morning. No, not morning. Kind of morning, not really. Anyway, <laughs> nah, it's like uh, 12 o'clock or something. Let's get out of here. 50 millimeter 101 drill. 50 millimeter 101 drill. Oh, beautiful park. Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? Ah, oh, excited, man. So, uh, yeah, man, everything uh, is going perfectly. So, uh, update a little bit. My nephew and his wife's coming over on uh, November 30th, which is a Wednesday. They're going to fly here from uh, New Jersey to LX uh, from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to LAX. Then he's gonna rent him, uh, him and his wife's gonna rent a car. Then they're gonna stay the night up the street here, uh, maybe Motel 6 or whatever. Uh, wins up dialysis. And then uh, after I get out, start, you know, sort everything out. And then when they wake up the next day, which is uh, Thursday, December 1st, um, gonna pick me up. And we're gonna drive to Las Vegas because Fucking California, man. Everything is hard as shit. Everything is, uh, you know, so. Plus, it's cheaper to fly from Las Vegas to uh, to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, if you don't know Pen Philadelphia, that's the home of Ricky Oyola, man. I'm going back. Back to the east. You know what I mean? So, uh, excited. Um... His sister and his mom lives there, my nephew Tony. So we're gonna stay the night there Thursday, Thursday night. And then uh, we fly out uh, Friday. Hopefully, uh, I already ordered all my uh, my cat shit. I got a name tag for both of them with my phone number on it and their name. Kiki is the big one, the boy. And then uh, the girl is uh, Carrie. Kiki, K-I-K-E, K-I-K-I. And then Kerry, K-E-R-R-I. And got my phone number on it. And uh, I bought him a little carrier. It says it can't be more than 18 by 14 by 8. So I got one 18 by like 10 by 11, 10. I don't know, something I hope doesn't fuck up. Um, uh, it's got to be soft top. Got that. So that was uh, 80, 80 something, $84. So got that done. Okay, got the flight, got everything. Uh, yeah, so that's the set. And uh, this uh, Filipino old man came yesterday. I sold a bunch of my shit. I sold the, uh, I sold it for cheap too, you know, cause I don't know. I mean, what am I gonna do with it, right? Shipping so much. I sold my circular saw, my leaf blower, my uh, spotlight, uh, my my 43 inch TV. Um, I gave him an extra battery for it. At first I wasn't giving him the battery, I gave him the battery. I gave him an extension cord. And uh... Yeah, so I sold all that for like a hundred dollars. That's a hundred dollars, you know what I mean? That I can, uh, I can ship four of those uh, flat rate boxes. So now I can ship those four rate boxes. With that money I made yesterday, so I'm set. I'm just, I just gotta wait for the boxes to come because I guess people been taking them, you know? Like, cause it's free box. Taking it home to fucking box whatever they you know, need to. So I already got my uh, cyberpunk strategy guides. I was gonna sell that, but I'm glad I found the, uh, the flat rate uh, box. Cause I wanted to keep that, you know? I just love that, the, the art of the cyberpunk. So I got that shit in there. Uh, I gotta grab four more boxes and pack the rest of my shit. Ship it out. We, I got that hundred dollars, so that that will uh, cover that because it's twenty two dollars each. So that's uh, eighty eight dollars plus tax and all that, hundred bucks. Perfect, man. Everything's per working out, man. Thank you for uh, Plastic Pimp and uh, for putting the eighty dollars in the PayPal and uh, uh, Super Troid putting the fifty dollar in the PayPal. So that's how I, I bought the uh, the cat stuff. Use PayPal to pay that shit, so. And now I got the $100 cash from yesterday. And, uh, yeah, and, um, just waiting. And now, uh, 
pretty much my mental is cleared, you know. Only thing is I, I got to make sure that, um, it, it sucks, you know, but I have to be hard on my wife, you know. I have to tell her, you know, <laughs> I'm leaving in two months, you know, like, when I'm here, I mean, you got to try to, like, get stronger and, and, and do shit, you know. It sucks because, you know, people you love, you try to, like, help. And you try to be as nice as you can, but, uh, when it comes down to it, man, you gotta be hard on them, you know? Because they, they'll, they'll hate you for sure. But you gotta know, you know, you gotta make the right decision, what's right for them. You know, what's, what's, uh, sometimes when you're down, you know, you can't really see too, uh, clearly. And, uh, I mean, not saying always, she's always wrong, but, you know, there's a lot of times. <clears throat> Because she took it, you know, I mean, she's used to me uh, doing all this shit all the time, so. So right now, I'm like, nah, man. This is the reality, you know what I mean? December 1st, I'm gone, you know? So, I mean, of course, I'm going to help her still. I'm pay the rent for uh, for that month, December for her. And then, uh, um, I'm going to keep paying her internet, $70 for the internet. And uh, pay her the phone, $30. So 70 bucks, 100 bucks, you know, a month for her. Just to help her out a little bit. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, she gets shit done when I'm not here and I'll get everything done over there and we, you know, it's, it's, everything's gonna be way, you know, more positive over there. I got my two brothers and two sisters that live over there and, you know, we got moral supports. Uh, my sister just took the picture of, uh, downtown Atlantic City and in the background man there's a Bass Pro Shop you know how much I love Bass Pro Shop man probably gonna get me a fishing pole get a you know license whatever and go fish uh, off the jetty just like on a uh, you know like uh, I'll go skateboarding but once in a while maybe you know what I mean because I'm right there so might as well you know go I haven't fished for a long time so I love fishing you know I don't care about I don't catch anything. The best part of fishing is just relaxing, just looking, you know, just relax and smell the ocean breeze and looking out and just just reminisce about life, you know. Because sometimes uh, you forget, you know what I mean? You get caught up in life and uh, you just gotta reminisce. All right, so that's it. Very happy. Thank you, Jesus, for making everything possible. And uh, that's about it. Let's go. I have enough speed. I enough speed for the ollies.
taking it easy today, you know? Trying to do, I mean, I could do it, but we'll slowly do the axle, you know, warm up, warm up again, and, and then, you know, get to the top, stuff like that. I was thinking about uh, doing a front side 50-50. I don't know. You know? You know what I was thinking? Do it fakey first. Like that, I think I'm gonna do that. Try to get higher and higher, fakey, fakey 90, and then uh, hopefully I can get up there. Tell you the truth, man, I never learned front side. Front side 50-50, front side axle. I never learned it, man, because uh, I always hang up to disaster and then fall on my head. So I never learned it. So uh, that was one of my, uh, one of the trick, kryptonite trick. So, uh, so I think I'm gonna try to learn it now, because I skipped that trick. So this one's gonna be, this one's gonna take a while. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do uh, uh, half, I guess, not half cab, quarter cab. <laughs> quarter cab to axle stall on a quarter pipe. That's the trick of the day. Quarter cab, axle stall on a quarter pipe. In the middle of the ramp. I know that's a long ass name, right? I think that's so that's the trick of the day all right so first things first I'm just gonna slowly uh, see if I can get to uh, I want to get the goal is to get to the eyeball level if we can get up to the Ruben name it'd be great for now we're gonna see if we can get up to the eyeball half cap <clears throat> half cap Pass your ass. You see I'm like barely to the tip of that shit. Alright. Ha ha ha! Feeling better, feeling better. And higher. Yeah. 
it's all about feeling better, more confident, and then just pushing more, you know? Imagine those guys on a vert ramp. Or like a big fat extension over vert. <laughs> oh man. That's why you see a lot of them going to Smith grind. When you go way up vert or over vert, that's why they go into a Smith grind because that way they can like. There's no worry for us, we're just doing a beginner's levels. Huh. I know it looks like nothing, you know? But uh but if you come out here and try it, I don't know man. It feels good, even like it doesn't look like nothing. That's what's also about skateboarding, you know, like it looks like nothing, but when you do it, like even a little shit like this, like, oh, fuck yeah. I hit it with my hand, so it wouldn't hit me in my face. Yeah. A lot of these tricks, a lot of these tricks depend on your manuals. That's the reason why, if you ride, you know, you gotta ride a lot on the street and everything, so you just keep, you know, keep doing manuals and shit like that, and it helps. It takes a long time to build your legs up, you know? Jump on. The reason it's scary is because, you know, like, your blind side going into the quarter pipe to where this way, the back side, you just like, you just lean in and all your eyes, your vision, it's all in one motion. But the front side, not only your back is like tweaked, you have to be like, you have to look over your shoulder. Kind of like a front side board slide, you know? It's pretty cool, right? Oh. Yeah, it's all about speed after that. After you get the, 
confident, turning, 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 it's all about speed. And you know, speed means more fuel factor, you know? And uh, more ways to crash, harder, harder to crash. You know, the hard way to crash. You know, you get hurt more, higher, more speed. I mean, just like anything, right? The faster you go, the higher you go, the more danger. That's why we gotta be beginners. Take it easy, baby. See the reason you want to do that is because you want to do it uh, slowly, slowly is because you want your, your legs to get used to going like this. You know? And once you do that, when you get to the top, the leg automatically do it because it, it you know I'm used to it. What do you think? Should I punk it? Alright, let me punk it real quick. We'll, we'll do a... We'll, See if we can punk it to the top. Wow. Oh. Give it a couple more tries. <laughs> See, I need to put the back, the back truck on the top. Like go up, like that, right? But once when I go up, instead of going like this, I kind of chicken out. I kind of let the the momentum like stop, you know. I think I got it mean I could put the truck up there. Doesn't mean I'm gonna pull it. I just wanna put the truck up there and then jump off. You know? You know the if, and, or, buts. What if? And then? You know? Why? Where? When? <laughs> it's called fear. It's called fear, baby. Crazy thing about front side is like it's so weightless. Like, like back side, you could just like force it in. Front side is like weightless, man. Like, it feels like you're out of control all the time. You know? I mean, unless you're good at it, but when you're first trying it, it's like weightless. Shit.
know what? You know what? I feel pretty good at it. I feel I feel pretty good with that progression because when I first 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 tried it, I didn't think I was gonna come that close. You know what I mean? Well, <clears throat> you know you know how we do it. We make things the hard way, you know. So I'll leave it at that, and then that way we can uh, continue. You know, it's no point to like, you know what I mean? Get the chick first try, cause they wouldn't be the hard way, right? So at least I know, like my body knows, we can we can get up there now. And next time, maybe next time or the time after, the time after, doesn't matter, man. The tricks, tricks come to you. You know, don't force it. But you still have to actually try. You know what I mean? Like try little by little by little, and it will come to you. You know? Doesn't mean you just sit on it and think about it, and you're like, oh, the trick's gonna come to you. No, no, no. You know what I mean? This ain't fucking uh, Hollywood movie, you know? Where like, oh, you know? I'm fucking female. Boom. I got fucking the, the force with me, you know? Star Wars. Or Lord of the Ring. Oh, I can fucking slay a cave troll by myself. I can swim a hundred miles better than a dolphin because I'm fucking female and the, the main character of the movie. Anyway, just ranting about bullshit. <laughs> uh, as always, Always have fun. Always, always, always. You see me have fun? See me quit. Always, always keep on rolling. It's running water on the stale. Alright, that's it. That's uh, the quarter cab. Front side quarter cab. Actual stall in the middle of the ramp. Uh, that's just the beginning of the front side, you know? But it's beginners. That's how we do it. So thank you for watching. Always, always keep on rolling. Running water on the stale. In the underground lid for you and me. All right, enjoy. No particular things to go. My Alpine's bumping that more time show. Rocky knew the papa was a rolling stone. Whoa, whoa. It feels good to be me. I'll be alright Rolling these streets all summer long Yeah! Damn! I got it all figured out I got no real reason what I'm worried about It's like I caught some crazy Love to see me supreme Damn, it feels good to be me